So the main point of this course is to try to give students enough mathematical background that they can go and learn whatever math they need for the physics that they're going to be doing in the future. So this class uh, will help prepare you to be ready to take the rest of the classes in your physics major and your upper level physics classes, but maybe more importantly it'll give you the mathematical background to be able to go out and pick up the mathematical topics you need for whatever physics you're going to explore again uh, in your own future in physics, whatever that may be. We cover a bunch of uh, different mathematical topics in this course, uh, including things such as special functions that are important for everything from quantum mechanics to special relativity, general relativity, electromagnetism. So we sort of think of it like a language course, um, and the, the language that we're teaching them is the language of physics, which is mathematics. Uh, and so we really expect the students to learn how to speak it and write it and function within it, because that's how all of our physical, physical world is described, is in terms of this mathematical language. So we often get feedback from students who've completed this course and gone on to further courses in the physics major telling us how much they appreciate that the time that they spent in this course uh, helped them to understand the physics that they were doing in their later courses in a more natural manner. So I think it's particularly fun material to teach undergrads because it's the first time they have exposure to this level of technical mathematical material that helps us understand the physical world around us.